hey guys how you doing <clears throat> i just got done eating supper here i'm burping um just got done riding this weekend got the side by side cleaned up um just wanted to kind of touch base on the long term running of these fender flares from ktm uh they're aftermarket uh, they are very good fender flares that keep the mud off you fronts could be a little bit bigger but let's concentrate on the rear here i've taken some pretty good hits on these things i mean some really good hits and they've held up really well but what's happening here is the factory bolts the factory flares that come on them from the factory are actually ripping out because these things are big so every corner you guys take i mean you guys taking corners in tight woods and these things are constantly getting bashed by trees and there's been a few times where i hit them and slide around a corner and i asked sandy if that fender flare is still there so right now we got some zip ties holding her on the other side this has already been ripped off once and it's starting to rip off again i put screws in it trying to reinforce it so my recommendation guys if you're going to ride in the woods the tight woods i would get and you really need mud flares is i would get the the mud flares that come out here that are thin it's just a piece of plastic you kind of bolt in here other than these these are so solid so thick you can see i've split these things right down the the center here just getting bashed by trees and another thing that can am needs to think about is these these headlights i got the headlight right now sitting in there with zip strips they all they do is hold in with plastic uh little connectors and they fall out constantly especially when they got weight of mud underneath of them they're constantly falling out but uh other than that um they're great mud flares they're just not holding up to the the tight woods riding um they'd be great you know riding around the mud and stuff like that but like i said if you guys are in tight woods i'd i'd kind of steer away from them i mean they can take a little bit but after a year of constantly getting bashed it's going to start tearing out your factory here um another thing that happened we were uh down at hansen's hollow in Sprigville, iowa it's a little place that uh a guy put aside for us to ride it's his own property on his farm you go down a dead end road and you go right to the front of his house he's usually out there on his side by side give him ten dollars and you can do whatever you want wherever you want i mean you can when i mean wherever you want you can do a donut in his front yard um he allows camping he allows bonfires he allows cooking he allows beer drinking i mean you want you want to pretty much you pay ten dollars to stay there for 24 hours and treat his property as if it was your own um you know clean it up better than you left it and be respectful to mr hansen but for him to lay out a side of piece of property in iowa for us to just tear up is awesome and there is another place probably 10 miles up the road that another man has set aside another piece of property about 150 acres hansen's probably three four hundred acres and i have never been there guys so i can't really say much about it i heard it's it's just as much fun and it's just something to do in iowa it's really hard to find good riding places if you don't own land of your own so just to have this the next closest place for us to ride is another hour in the wisconsin and then to get into the really good riding in wisconsin you need to go about three hours more north which don't bother me when we have a you know a friday saturday sunday and we go up north and go ride in wisconsin but when you just have a weekend um or one day to ride it it kind of sucks so me and sandy ended up rolling the side by side didn't do any damage whatsoever to it um rolled onto the passenger side we were doing a doni on the sand and it caught and rolled right over sandy of course started laughing immediately because it was it was really slow motion and i landed on top of her and she just started laughing me so much wasn't laughing um when i rolled over even as slow as it was i didn't have a helmet on me or sandy didn't have a helmet on just because it was 95 degrees that day nobody wants a helmet on when it's 95 degrees and for some odd reason probably the first time i've ever not had it on i didn't have my seatbelt on um i didn't even have a strap thrown over my shoulder don't know why usually always do but when i came over 
I must have caught this sharp edge up here on the roll cage. And I'll show you guys pictures here of probably four hours later of when I did it. Took out a piece of my scalp, a good chunk of my scalp, and actually found it in the roll bar. Um, didn't have a concussion or anything. Bled horribly, horribly bled. Uh, took a while to get it stopped. Um, now, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm pretty scraped up right here. Got a cut in the back over here, but um, luckily I didn't have to go to the hospital. I didn't get stitches. Probably should have, but I don't need them. It'll close up. So, but didn't do anything to the side by side. Um, didn't woke up this morning. Neck hurt a little bit, but other than my neck hurting, um, my head don't hurt at all, which is weird. As hard as I did hit and taking out a piece of my scalp, but. Um, other than that, guys, I'll leave you with some videos of Hanson. I did not get the video of us rolling over. Again, one of the few times I didn't have the GoPro rolling. So, but there it is. Um, enjoy the rest of the video here. And uh, thanks for subscribing and watching. Have a good one.
everything that I might fear And I fight to goodbye with my mind clear Everything's bigger sides and I'm right here I'm running from things that I've done in my past Hoping to become someone that could last Get out of my way, I'm on the attack Got something to say and I'm not holding back Don't be a little bitch in my way I'll say it to your face, I'll say it to myself Then I'll put you in your place And this world is my right, I do without a trace Give a fuck what you say, cause I'll go my way Make a buck for the pain, not enough, I'm insane Wanna leave a stain on this world on your brain Won't ever be the same, grab the wheel, grab the reins Gotta talk to yourself, scare away all the pain oh. I'm inside, I'm sick of never feeling quite Cheers up and find a way to do it all by yourself We're always deferring to somebody else The key is to show everybody, don't tell my god Are we all to blame? We should feel ashamed It drives me insane, it feels like a game We all lose and blame someone else Cause we feel like they rigged the game And no, ain't nobody ever gonna stop you Put your mind to it, nobody will drop you All the way to the top, never stop you Got my life to live, so see it right through Who are you inside? I'm sick of never feeling quite right I'm gonna make a change this time Better do the same and climb. Are you just a regret? Are you always upset? Do you need to reset? Figure out what's up next. Trust me, take a deep breath. Everything you forget. This is now a real threat to every doubt in your head.
Damn it.